our backend JavaScript data structures contact list. And uh, as you can see, I've already completed this section. Um, video quality didn't come out that great, so we're going to just go ahead and redo it. Um, so it looks like what we'll be building is a contact list. Uh, you can see right here we've created a object friends, and we're going to name it Bill, Steve, and basically say these are what the values that, that Bill has of the friends class. And then we have a function that's going to, um, I guess this is just a, a prop in the object. I'm not quite sure how that works, but I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go. So let's go ahead and get started. So you can see right here, you know, prints out the data more or less. And this is here. So we're going to reset this here. So we're going to create an object called friends. And it's pretty simple. It's just uh, an empty object at this point. So we're going to say var friends. Don't forget the semicolon after. Okay, maybe I messed up. So var friends semicolon. Object literal, object constructor. So let's see here. Feel free to use either object literal. Oh, maybe uh, maybe they want it like that. Hmm. Var friends. Oh, whoops. Okay, don't forget your equal. There we go. All right, so there it, we create our object, friends. Let's go ahead and reset that, and few add a few empty objects. Make sure you have a friend named Bill, a friend named Steve. All right, so if you're curious, it's, we're just going to add empty objects in our friends. So we're going to have Bill, and this is an empty. It's just like uh, listing, in this case, um, parameters. So Bill and Steve, and do we need anything else? No, I don't think so. Let's just go ahead and save and submit. So we have two empty objects in here. All right, so we have Bill and Steve. Give each of your friends a first name and last name and a number. Uh, the value of each of these should be a string. Check the hint if you need help. So I don't remember if we could just put Bill dot first name and then set it equal to something, but I'm pretty sure we can. Oh, okay, so they want us they want us to do it like this. So in here, I think we could do it the other way as well. So the value of each of these should be a string. So we need a first name and last name and a number. Okay, so just set up the variables. So we'll say first name, and then that will be uh, Bill. I almost want him first name, but uh, we'll do last name, and that will be Bob, like Billy Bob, I guess, and the number. And remember, this is also going to be a string, so um, we will do uh, uh, 999-9999, and then we'll do the same thing for Steve again. First name, that will be Steve, uh, don't forget the comma, then we'll do... Uh, Last name, uh, we'll do Martin, and then we'll do a number, and we'll set this to 88-88-88-88. So we have our Steve and Bill, which are our friends, and they have a couple parameters at this point. So add an address property to each of your things. So in this, we're basically going to create, it looks like, in the example here, a address that is stores an array. So put a comma, and we'll do address. And um, just to save time, we'll just do first street. And don't forget that these are strings as well. First Street, and we'll just do the city of First City, and we'll see. It may want us to put it in exactly as they have it there, but that's 
for me, it's always like, do you understand that you're putting in an array here? And if you do, okay, cool. Um, you can put in five more values and pause the video. So uh, I just don't want to type it all out, to be honest. So let's see, Second Street. And don't forget to get the quotation marks right. And let's go ahead and sec oh, Second City, rather. Bam, so we've added in an array address that takes the street and the city. And we could add even more and get it down to the you know first state, second state, and go from there. Um, create a function list. Alright, so uh, we'll say var list equals function, if I, re I believe this is how you, uh, if I remember correctly, function that takes a single parameter and we'll say value or in this case they want key I think actually let's do value, I like value better um, and in the body write a for for loop, alright so for variable key in list we wanted to do some stuff and then in the loop use console.log to print out the key console.log to print out the key uh, so we'll say list key no that doesn't seem right so the value Let's take a look at the hint real quick. I think the the I think value and key need to be the same thing. So var list e equals function friends. Okay, so we're taking in our friends function here. And then the key in list use object key to access. So corresponding console dot log print and screen var my stream awesome console log my stream. All right, so we want to console. I don't think that's right. Var list and list. All right, so list console.log key. I think that's correct. Nope. Looks like your list function isn't printing out the right output. So let's call list. I want to insert friends here. See if that works. Create function list. Print out the key. For example, if you only have Bill and Steve as entry, they should just print out Bill and Steve. So, for the variable key in our list, there we go. Okay, so we're calling that up. We're calling the variable within itself. It doesn't make sense. We needed to call it from friends. Um, and friends here can actually be, even though we have a variable friends here, if we want to call list in the future, we can input another object for it, and it should work just fine. All right, now it wants us to define a function called search. So var search, and we're going to say that it's equal to a function that takes a single parameter name. So name and If the argument passes the function matches any of the first names, do some shit. It should log that the friend's contact. So we'll say if the argument. So if uh, var key and the friends, so if that and the friends function, or in the friends uh, object. So what we're basically doing is we're going to say if the name is equal to the first name of one of the friends, return that name, else don't. So uh, we're going to say if name is equal equal to key, so if the key is Wait, no, four, rather. This is supposed to be four. Four of our key. And then we'll say if 
name is equal to equal to key. Return name. So stuck, get a hint. So I believe we're doing var key if our else will put something out. So else console.log the names don't match. Here's uh, semicolon. And I believe that should work. The names don't match, the names don't match, the names don't match. We don't actually call it though. That's what's throwing me off. So sparse search function name. Okay, so it takes a single parameter name, and then we'll say for key function name. Oh, it's supposed to take our friends. Oops, and for is that what it says here? First, create a function search. This is how you create a function, and we want to input our friends into there. And then if the key for the key in friends, then we're say if that could just no. All right, so here's the they basically give you the answer right here for key. Okay, so I see what's going on here. No, we had it right the first way. So we're gonna say our name parameter. That's why I was thrown off. Us. Uh, then we do a for loop through that, but we can't just check for the key. We need to call dot first name. So um, I believe that's what's going on. So so if you see right here, and they use a triple equals. I thought we could use double equals. So the key is friends key dot first name. This is what we need to fix. Just equal equal to key return if friends key dot first name. Oh, equal equal to name. Whoops. Let's see here. Or of our key and friends. If friends key dot first name Let's try the triple equals, but I don't think that should matter. And friends key, it should return the same thing, whether it's name or... But just because that's what they want, let's go ahead and put that in there. Make sure our brackets are matched up. Hmm. So var search, we take in the input name for key in friends. If friends with the key, we check the first name for each one. It's equal equal to name return the friends key. Oh, does it want us to log it also? Maybe that might be what they want. Looks like your search doesn't return contact information for Steve. Alright, so we're going to Q&A forum, see what's going on here. Uh, Or key and friends if friends are as well. Oh. 
Okay. Let's try calling this function. Search Steve. Huh, I know that was gonna be it. Search bill. Look in France. If France first name is in the name, console not for log France here, return France. Okay, okay. Huh. Alright, let's get rid of our else statement. Although we probably should have it anyhow. Oh my god, here it is. Bam! Capitalization. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, good example of debugging your code, I suppose. Uh, so, uh, let's just work our way through. We're, we're done now with this one. A um, little bit of a hiccup there with not capitalizing the end. Um, I hate when that happens because I think we did it okay the first time, even though we had to kind of copy their code essentially. But basically, created our object friends, we stored an object in it, Bill and Steve, we set some parameters here for him, first name, so on and so forth. We then create a list that will actually go through our function if we need it to, and then we have our search function that will check for a name, and then like uh, we should be able to call list friends here and I believe it should list our friends. So in this case it lists just the first name, Bill and Steve, uh, which is our key, if you remember correctly. So that was our contact list. Next up we're actually diving straight into the object. So it's a long section, 33 uh, parts to it. Um, objects are very important. So look forward to that and uh, just be prepared. It's gonna be a little bit of a longer video. Alright, see you guys next time.